gonna be showing you some of the supplies and tools that I use when I'm building models. As you can see, I have this Plano box. All right, this Plano box has compartments up here in the top. It's got a little lid that'll fold down. And it's like a big tackle box, it's got a handle on it. And I keep most of this stuff up in the top because it's really easy to get to. You just pop the lid open and there it is. So, uh, like I said, this is the stuff that I will use the most. So I keep it up here. Uh, this is just, uh, this is super glue. Uh, which it looks like it's probably gone bad because it's been sitting in here for a while. But I put it in the bag so that it didn't get all over everything else, uh, which actually looks like might not have been a bad idea. Uh, I'll end up throwing that away. So. Uh, when uh, you get bottles of paint, um, especially the testers, they come in the little packages. It usually has a clear plastic piece that the, the bottles will rest in, but they got these little mixing cups. So I cut that out and I save it. Um, so if I need to mix any kind of custom paint or whatever, I have this available, I can do it. And you can always just wipe it out when you're done, reuse it. So it's kind of handy little thing to have. Um, I got some old plastic gloves up here, keep fingerprints off. And in this little bucket, I'm not sure if you can see this really well. These are just the nozzles for the, uh, for the testers glue. Um, now some modelers will use uh, a different kind of glue. Uh, I've always used this, so this is generally what I use. It's what I'm used to. So uh, like I said, there are different kind of glues out there. One thing you have to be really careful about though with this particular glue is if you're doing anything clear, it'll cause that, uh, that clear part to cloud up if you're not real careful. So I actually have uh, Canopy glue. Um, it's designed for the clear parts. It does not cloud up. It will not affect the canopy. It dries clear. So I have this in case I'm doing something on a on a uh, an airplane or putting a windshield into one of the cars. Excuse me. I'll use the canopy glue. A tester's glue, um, and it is also designed for clear parts. Uh, it's it's really got a nice applicator tip on it. So if you're doing some fine work somewhere. Um, this is what I'll go to. Uh, this is another one of the Plano boxes that I have. Um, and it goes into, if you can see it, into this area right here, inside so, the big box. <clears throat> excuse me, inside uh, this Plano, uh, I've got an X-Acto knife set. Uh, not a real fancy set, but does the job. Um, I've got needle nose pliers. I've got a file. I've got a wire brush. Uh, I've got scissors. I've got uh, little cutters. So all of my little tools and everything I've got inside this box. I've got a couple of Sharpie markers. Believe it or not, Sharpie markers are real good for doing fine detail. Um, and as long as you put uh, some type of coating over the top of it, uh, a clear coat. Now I tend to use future floor polish an awful lot. Um, but you can seal the Sharpie markers with something and uh, it's just as good as paint. I have this handheld magnifying glass So, and it's got a light in it too. Uh, of course, batteries are long dead in that. So, uh, I've got assorted clamps. I just keep this in this particular box because of the size of the bottle, but this is a paint thinner. Um, so, always nice to have some of that on hand, especially after your paints uh, start to dry up or get a little sticky, you can put a little paint thinner in them. Or if you're so, using an airbrush, I've got uh, putty used for filling uh, seams uh, and gaps. Brushes. I got a bunch of brushes. Um, they're artist brushes. So I got uh, some, some Q-tips. I've got a set of files. Now these are jeweler's files. Dental tools. All right. These are actually sanding sticks. They're, they're the, the consistency of sandpaper. Um, but but they're, they're really durable and you can use these, like I said, you're trying to get down into a fine, like a 90 degree, excuse me, corner where you got some body filler in there. You can get down with the point of this thing and really sharpen up that line. Uh, without sanding the rest of the model. Some of these medical, uh, I believe they call these forceps. Um, they're nice to have, especially when you're dealing with really small Here's pieces. Here's my tweezers. Um, I got two different pair right now. I got a really fine tip set, and then I got not so fine. So, and then I've got two more Plano boxes. Now these are smaller boxes than the one that uh, I just had open. These are my paints. So as you can see, I have 
quite a few different paints. I have uh, quite a few different yeah. colors. So there's the paints. And we're not done. A whole nother Plano box full of paint. Paints. Like I said, the top of the box. Oh, yes. Make sure that that part's closed so I don't dump it all out. These are good to have if you ever needed to put something together and you really need to hold it together nice and snug, nice and tight, then uh, I've got assorted sandpapers. Ribbon. It makes great seat belts inside 125th scale cars. This is nothing more than a straight edge cutter. Um, and I use it mainly for my sheet styrene. Wires. All right. Some of these were stripped out of old telephone lines um, when you used to have the hardwired lines in the house. Uh, these, these little bitty small wires, they make excellent ignition wires. So I'm going to uh, actually do a video later where I'm going to wire a distributor and I'm going to be using some of these parts. Fishing weights. Um, some of the airplanes, some of them I've built in the past. I'll usually try and assemble as much of the airplane as I can. Um, and then see if it's going to sit on its own landing gear without tipping backwards. If it does tip, put some weight in the nose. This is decal paper. Now, I did a video on my VF-103 148 scale uh, Jolly Rogers um, F-14 Tomcat build. And I told you that I did the decals on the tail of the airplane. It's the skull and crossbones. This is the decal paper that I was talking about. All you need to have is a color printer um, that can do photo quality prints and some decal paper. I got spray paints. Uh, these are beads, like you do bracelets and stuff like that. Uh, they make great fuzzy dice hanging around the mirrors of a car, um, 125th scale. So paints, paints, paints. But this Plano box will hold a lot of stuff. So it's really nice to have something like this. Kind of keep it organized. And I know to look at it as it comes out of the box, not very well organized, but... It's all in one place. Thanks for watching. If you really enjoyed the videos, give me a thumbs up on the bottom. Subscribe. I hope you have a great day. Bye.